And now to the latest developments involving the investigations into the Donald Trump rally shooting. The Secret Service says it's trying to piece together clues from the shooter's background. But as News to Jean's Laura Aguirre explains, the actions or inaction of the Secret Service is what's now coming into focus. Moving forward, we take whatever lessons we that come out of this and adjust accordingly. Pressure is mounting on the director of the Secret Service over security failures at last Saturday's Trump rally in Pennsylvania. Wednesday morning, House Speaker Mike Johnson called for the director's resignation and announced a bipartisan task force to investigate the assassination attempt. Homeland Security's Inspector General has launched a separate probe into the shooting. And DHS will join officials from the Justice Department to hold briefings Wednesday afternoon for all congressional members. We couldn't do our job without them. Meanwhile, Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle is softening earlier comments that laid blame for the shooter's access to the roof on local law enforcement. At that particular site, uh, we divided up areas of responsibility, and that's what I was trying to stress, was that we just divided up areas of responsibility. Claims that other events that day stretched agent staffing too thin also refuted. There were no assets from the Secret Service that were diverted at all. In fact, for a number of reasons, security around Trump had been enhanced in recent weeks. We have been increasing the assets and the resources and the staffing that we have been providing to the former president. If what we saw Saturday was the enhanced security right. detail, the senior leadership of the Secret Service really has a lot of explaining to do. Regardless of what anyone said, it 100 percent squarely falls on the United States Secret Service. I'm Laura Aguirre for News 15.